Etsy crafted a global business with millions of sellers, turning passion into profession. But competition took a toll on the stock. Is its turnaround at hand? Like I told you last night, there's one thing that can keep working in this market, regardless of what the Fed does tomorrow, and that's growth, pure growth. Now, the thing about growth stocks is that they can come in all shapes and sizes. Take Etsy, the online marketplace for handmade goods that's been on a huge tear in recent months. After spending nearly a year getting hammered in the wake of the April 2015 uh, IPO, initially I told you I was a little skeptical about Etsy, but then the company dramatically improved the user interface. Just terrific technology. And the fundamentals started to improve immediately, hence why I recommended the stock a little more than four months ago, under nine bucks. Since then, Etsy's rallied more than 50%, with most of that gain coming right after the company reported a really beautiful blowout quarter in early August. Etsy is a classic growth story. The company has become the number one place to buy handicrafts online, and from this year through 2018, management is forecasting that their revenue will increase at a 20 to 25% compound annual growth rate as their gross merchandising volume rises by 13 to 17% annually. And on top of that, or, or their organic growth, just yesterday, Etsy announced a real breakthrough. They bought a company called Blackbird Technologies, privately held machine learning company, delivers superior search relevance and recommendations for an undisclosed sum. Basically, Blackbird gives the, uh, them an artificial intelligence platform that will help Etsy do a better job of directing its customers to product, products they like to buy. This kind of technology is exactly, it's so essential, especially if you're going to have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Amazon but maybe even be beating Amazon. So let's take a closer look at Christina Salins, Etsy's chief financial officer, who also happens to be a member of the CNBC's Global CFO Council, get a better sense of what's happening at her company and how it will benefit from the Blackbird deal. Ms. Salin, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me, Jim. First, this acquisition, uh, when we hear about machine learning, we hear about artificial intelligence, the first thing we think of is, like, wow, Amazon's got that and they're killing everybody. What will this do to make it as it is, you're killing Etsy. You're, Etsy's killing Amazon in the, the area that you're in. What will this do to be competitive? You know, Etsy leverages technology to connect people through commerce. Okay. We are tech innovators, and this is a great example through this acquisition, what we can do with this technology that others can't. We're so excited to have this Blackbird team on board. We already have deep skills in machine learning because it's really hard to connect right. 40 million items to 26 million buyers right. around the globe. Right. But this augments our skill set and actually accelerates our progress in search, and we think it's going to drive future growth. We're so excited to have this okay. team. You already were a specialist in machine learning when it comes to international and translation. Is mm -hmm. this uh, going to be, a, you know, if I, my wife buys beads all the time so because she makes jewelry, so she goes to Etsy constantly. Will it say that if you like beads, you might like something? Is that what the Blackbird, what, what will the, This technology will has it? multiple applications from just spelling suggestions to recommendation engines. Okay. It will really help us turn the flywheel on search. We're already leaders in unstructured data because all of our 40 million items for sale are unique. They're not commodity goods. They're not found anywhere else. So this will just help us really accelerate search. Well, there are periods where someone will say, well, you know, Amazon's going to do a home crafts or, or uh, Alibaba. How have the competitors done who have tried to be in your space? We've been in business for 11 years, and we've seen competitors come and go. When we look at the competitive landscape, we just think we're really differentiated to help these creative entrepreneurs. Right. We have 1.6 million of them on our platform right now in nearly 200 countries. They have a really distinct set of needs that we feel with our technology, we can leverage it more than anything. Well, I wanted to talk about the sellers because my daughter was on your platform and you guys, uh not only do not abuse the sellers, as some companies do, but you absolutely try to promote their businesses both on and offline. Yes, I, I think this is another example of what we can do with our technology. We talk to our sellers all the time, and we build seller, seller services to help them grow and scale their businesses. We directly target their pain points. So at this point, their pain points, their pain points okay. they tell us what, where they need help, whether it's marketing, inventory management, payments, shipping. So we launched our first seller service five years ago. Okay. It's now over 50% of our revenue, which proves that, yes, Etsy's e-commerce, but it's so much more than that. We think we have a long pipeline of new seller services and growing the ones that we already have. You have a great app, and the app is where all the business is done. you got to stay within the app. Uh, the app. How much of your business is already done on handheld? At this point, 60% of our visits and nearly 50% of our gross merchandise sales is through mobile. We're really proud of what we've done in mobile. The last two years, we've been laser focused on it. Okay. 
And we just think there's so much more to do. Again, this acquisition is gonna help us in things like mobile search, for example. Okay. We just think there's such a pipeline that we can innovate around with all of our products, like our mobile app. But we're also, we've been growing in mobile web, mobile app, and desktop, okay. which we're really proud of. It's quite differentiated for an e-commerce company to be growing in all of their channels. Okay, now, um, I know you most, I do a lot of stuff in Brooklyn, see you guys mm -hmm. all the time, and you're a huge employer in Brooklyn. Can you get the talent in this area that you need to be able to be a good presence online? Absolutely. You know, when we think about Etsy as a company, it's the culture and the mission that attracts employees. Okay. And then when you think about engineering, um, engineering is not germane just to Silicon Valley. And mm -hmm. the engineers who come to us, they come because we're such tech innovators. We're known for that. And they love the hard problem of 40 million unstructured items. Right. Um, connecting with 26 million buyers in 200 countries. That's right. so exciting and challenging and such a great opportunity for smart engineers. In, in one of the panels I led where your CEO was there, uh, he openly talked about the notion that you're an advocate for small business uh, and that that is really integral to what you believe in. Well, as you know, small business drives the economy, and we're really passionate about the creative entrepreneurs. We have a seller-aligned business model. We succeed when they succeed. Okay. And so all of our business decisions are around how can we help them succeed. It makes it really easy to make business decisions when you're focused on your customer. One of the things that would distinguish you, say, from Amazon is I noticed you have these craft fairs where you'll actually... Uh, Amazon really wants to keep everything in its ecosystem. You're perfectly willing to introduce your sellers into the world of, say, of Macy's. Oh, yes. I mean, when we think about the long term, we want to help our seller sell wherever she is. And there's a great opportunity, not only with Etsy-owned markets, like Etsy.com, yeah. like Pattern, like our wholesale initiative, but to help her take all of our seller services off of Etsy over the long term. It's a great opportunity. Well, it's been great. The money's being made. You've far exceeded the guidance, and people love your site, both buyers and sellers. That's Christina Salen, Etsy CFO, member of the CSO Council of, of CNBC, and just a terrific story. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.